Well hello and good morning and it's a lovely morning this morning it's warm it's very pleasant mild gentle winds and I'm down in landed now I've decided to have a go at shooting the pier this morning it's a beautiful pier a very old Victorian pier and I've shot here before so I'm not on shooting and I've got the tide on its way out, almost fully out now, so I've got a good chance of getting some detail underneath that pier and if that sun comes up I'll be on to a winner. Well, one of the nice things about the pier here is that you can shoot pretty much all year round and get a sunrise because you can change your angle and the sun today is going to come up underneath the pier towards the, the end and hopefully I'll be able to get uh, underneath to get a long shot with the light illuminating it from behind with some of those lovely big rocks in the foreground so fingers crossed probably about another 45 minutes to sunrise plenty of cloud so there's possibility that'll actually light up for me fingers crossed well I'm pleased to say that uh, I'm set up and shooting already and the scene behind me actually looks quite nice, looks better on the histogram to be honest than by uh, looking at it with a normal eye. I think settings wise I've got, I've got a sort of modest uh, wide angle setting on my zoom lens. I put a two stop soft grad on as well just to tame the sky rather than blending it later in Lightroom with multiple exposures. And it's running to about sort of half a second at the moment. I may try a 10 stop uh, just to smooth out that water a little and to get a little bit of uh, movement in the clouds. Well, much as I like the view from where I was there, and I think I've got a couple of nice shots. I'm going to go underneath the pier now uh, to try and get a long shot, you know, with some of those, those cast iron girders in there. Uh, you've got to watch my footing, though, it's a bit slippy here, but I uh, have brought my wellies, thankfully, which gives me a bit more a bit more of an option where to go. So, probably take me about five minutes to get over there, set up well before sunrise, get another shot. Fantastic. Well, uh, cancel what I just said. I was heading over towards the underside of the pier, but I've started to notice some exceptionally good light coming up now through the clouds behind me. And I think I'd like to get back up onto the promenade to get a better view of that, get it sat above the pier. I don't want to be too cluttered now, so uh, there you go, keep, keep changing my mind, but uh, best not be too rigid and stick to one idea. If something else looks like it's going to work, go and shoot it. All a bit of a mad dash I'm afraid. I took one down by the, the wall uh, where I intended to shoot but I needed a bit more height so I've come further up so I can actually isolate the pier from the horizon. I want to get it below the horizon line and the colour is looking good. Well it's looking good all around me to be honest. I mean pretty good morning to come out to be fair. just about sunrise now but because of that low bank of cloud on the horizon <coughs> which you can see behind me uh, I'm not getting it just yet which is quite nice in some ways because it will extend the shoot once the Sun comes up above that it's going to be right to my eyes and too bright but uh, before that happens I've got a good chance of getting some uh, some breakthrough there quite pleased all in all. Um, I was expecting a little bit more rain and drizzle so I was worried that the clouds would obscure the sunrise but as you can see it's, uh, it's actually come up really nicely and uh, I think I've got a few good shots. Lots of different angles. I've been shooting with a 
12 to 35 and a 35 to 100 f2.8 Panasonic zoom pair. Lovely sharp lenses and I've been using a bit of 10 stop. I'm usually rubbish with 10 stop but I've actually had a go today. And it smoothed out the water a little bit which is quite nice so I have a choice of shots. Um, on days like this I do find digital to be a lot easier than film. Um, it's just a bit quicker. I can see my results especially with the, the dark. Uh, very hard to uh, anticipate what my exposure is going to be like with film. Great during the day, but tricky in these dawn and dusk situations. So yeah, all in all, pretty pleased. I'll have to be proudly boasting that I judged it just right and missed the rain. Here comes the rain. Um, probably only a shower, but uh, you never know. It might actually persist a little bit. It certainly wiped out the, the sunrise for me at the moment. So uh, whether I adjourn to the car for 10 minutes or stick it out, um, not quite sure really. It depends how heavy it gets.